after uh, President Trump's near assassination, and Biden has a tough speech ahead of him at the White House. He has to convince America that he's not senile. Let's see how long it takes before he makes a mistake. Clock. Hello, Americans. I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And to remember, while we may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors. We're friends, co-workers, citizens. And most importantly, we are fellow Americans. We must stand together. Yesterday's shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania calls on all of us to take a step back. Take stock of where we are, how we go forward from here. Thankfully, former Trump is not the linger. I spoke to him last night. I'm it took him 32 seconds before he made not one, but two mistakes. Here we go. Re replay. Thankfully, former Trump is not seriously injured. I spoke to him last night. Former Trump is not seriously injured. The stakes in this election are enormously high. I've said it many times. That the choice in the select we make in this election is going to shape the future of America. Choice in the select we make in this election. Choice in the select we make in this election. Choice in the select we make in this election. Choice in the select we make in this election is going to shape the future of America. Republican convention will start tomorrow. I have no doubt they'll criticize my record and offer their own vision for this country. I'll be traveling this week, making the case for our record and the vision, my vision of the country, our vision. We're blessed to live in the greatest country on earth, and I believe that with every soul, every power of my being. So tonight, I'm asking every American to recommit to make America so, make America, what it is to think about. It. What's made America, America so special? So make America, what it is to think about. It. We resolve our difference at the battle box. You know, that's, you know, that's how we do it, at the battle box, not with bullets. Nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we do it together. That's because he's too old to do anything by himself. Now let's compare what the president said, what he did last month. Hello, Americans. I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. Billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public? For American democracy, your arguments are made in good faith. Of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant. I mean, I believe politics ought to be an arena for peaceful debate, to pursue justice to make decisions guided by the Declaration of Independence in our Constitution. You have the morals of an alley cat. Let's never lose sight of who we are. 